What is happening, guys? It's your boy, Connor 85 and I'm back again in the car. Hopefully, guys, are well and healthy. We've got another shoe video coming out today. So, we've got the undefeated Nike Air Force Ones. Sorry for that bird, which is making noise. It's so annoying. Let me try and close the window. Bear with me for one second. I'm just, you know, in the car. So, as I was saying, guys, so I've got the undefeated Nike Air Force One. These are called the Low Blue Crocs. And the Crocs suggest that these come in a, you know, in a leather, which is exactly the same as croc skin as well so i'll show you guys what i'm looking at today so i'm taking my information from source supplier guys make sure you subscribe hit the bell notification and also make sure you give this video a thumbs up as well all right let's just uh let me just show you what, what i'm looking at guys so in three two one bam as you guys can see that you're greeted by the beautiful beautiful different air force one we haven't had a very different air force one dare i say since the power noise the white ones that I can say, oh, do you know what? These are quite nice and worth it to buy. So you're greeted by these beautiful shoes, guys, that come in that blue, which is a darker shade of blue, which has the croc graining or, you know, the croc pattern on it as well. And you've also got the, it's like a mustard color, which is on the, on the toe box and also on the side of the shoe. <laughs> Beg your pardon. Toe, oh, yes, it's called the toe box, right? The front, yeah, obviously getting myself confused there. Then you've also got a, white swoosh as well which runs from the middle section of the shoe all the way to the back and you've also got a thick off white ivory sole as well which is you know quite different it's just it brings that sort of different factor to it as well this shoe is quite confusing in terms of what you can wear with the shoe it's very confusing i suppose like you know wearing all blue will be the easiest option what would you guys wear with this i'd probably say wear this with all blue i'd probably like wear this with some blue denim jeans and maybe like wear like a blue shirt as well or a blue t-shirt as well. That'd be nice. That'd be a vibe. Then wear like a, a nice like you know Congo bucket hat, which is white. That'd be a vibe as well. So we've seen the undefeated dunks as well. So this is actually versus the dunks. The dunks doing pretty well right now. I've just checked on StockX. The dunks are reselling for five hundred pounds. They're pretty steady at that price. So I think with these as well, they'll probably just follow on as well, because people prefer both shoes if you like dunks then chances are you like air force ones now i'm wearing air force ones right now and i've got a lot of dunks as part of our collection so you know if you if you had to ask me to choose i probably air force one for comfort you know and then um yeah then other stuff there yeah so we'll talk about the pattern of the shoe in more detail guys so we'll swipe left and then so as you guys can see there guys you've got the und undefeated um, tully on the back as well which we've known and loved then you have the then you've got the you've got the shoelaces at the front which have to be changed straight away i think the blue is just too strong there's already so much blue so i definitely either have a white lace on one side then have a yellow lace on the other side just to sort of incorporate the other colors from the shoe just to balance them out a little bit so you know it's kind of equal to a certain extent and then as you can see, they're wearing like some nice, beautiful white socks with a bit of yellow as well. So it's very important that when you wear your outfit that you try and match the colors quite a lot. And yeah, so I don't know that material like in between that like yellowish mustard yellow material. I don't know what it is, but I'm really impressed by that material. It looks very soft. It looks very supple, but at the same time, it looks like, like it's very, you know, it's, it, creases, it creases very easy, which can be a bit of a concern. With these shoes, um... You can't really afford to just like wear them just for the fun of it because, well, I mean, you can if you've got the money or you can if you appreciate the shoes and you just want to wear them, but you can't just beat these shoes because, you know, under, undefeated, why do they keep on uh, calling it undercover? Undefeated is a very hard brand to procure, you know, especially when it comes to shoes as well. They've done like 97s before and it's pretty rare to find someone like wearing like undefeated like 97s. So it's really like that brand which you have to kind of, you know, you know, um, respect is prestige. And, you know, uh, if you're not quite sure what undefeated is, they're actually a Japanese fashion house as well. They're quite popular over there. And they've made some uh, collaborations also with Anti-Social Social Club before as well. And they make some decent stuff as well. So that's who they are. So these are going to cost £130. So I do love on the tongue. That's one detail that I missed. The tally there is on there as well, which is a nice little touch as well. I do love how thick the laces are as well. It just looks chunky and nice as well. And let's just keep swiping, yeah. 
beautiful shoe, beautiful shoe. So, oh, I like how the other side of the socks has got like uh, Yankee kicks in that blue as well. So you've got yellow on the other on the other sock, then blue on the side. I like those little details. When people just put that effort, that little bit extra effort, I do appreciate it. So, um, yeah, so resale wise, these are going to cost 130 pounds to buy retail. Then resale, I'll probably say anything from 350 upwards, you know, depending on size, obviously. 350 upwards. And I think we'll sort of uh, go up as well to the 400 mark. Then I think we'll be steady from there onwards. So that's the price, yeah. So uh, I think they're going to be very rare, very hard to get. They'll probably just be available maybe in a few places such as and, but in very low volume. When I mean low volume, I mean like maybe and might probably have five pairs and they get probably 600 ruffles, if not a thousand. So you look at your chances, then you think, what are my chances? So, um, They'll be available on sneakers as well, but you know who really gets shoes from sneakers? You know, been doing myself for the last three years. I've only won two pairs from sneakers, so I think if you want them, you, you, you're gonna have to buy them re uh, resell. That'll be the only option. And that's the end of the video, guys. Just want to say thanks for watching. Hopefully, this video has been informative, and I will see you guys later on. God bless. Peace. I'm out.